Well, hello, everybody. This is Dr. Carmen Bryant, and welcome to Car Chronicles. How you guys doing? Everything all right? Good. Let's do this. First of all, forgive me. I just came from the gym, but I just had a thought, and I wanted to share that with you. You know, most people that have been through narcissist abuse, and you go and share your story, you try to tell people, especially those people that are in the close circle with you, a lot of times you're not believed because they cannot believe that somebody that is so wonderful, that is so charismatic, that is such a giver, such a happy-go-lucky person, you know, they just can't believe that they can do something like that. And the thing that I hate the most when I actually heard someone say this, now, the wife is with the husband for a long time, and the friend, which is a fly monkey, did not believe what the wife was saying and had the nerve to say, but I've been knowing him for a long time. And the years that he's been knowing the, the husband was probably like five or six years compared to the 10, 15 years that she had been with him. But he was like, I don't believe that because I've been knowing him for five to 10 years. You guys know, some of you have been through it. And sometimes when you start talking about the details of what they're doing, and a lot of times you can't even articulate some of this stuff because you can't believe it yourself that some of the things that they've done, the way that they talk, the way that they think, some of the things that they say is just absurd. The gaslighting, the crazy things that they say takes, it takes, it's, it's almost like unrealistic because some of them are very educated. Some of them present themselves as being very intellectual, very cerebral, very, you know, and, and then for you to tell them some of the things that they're saying, people don't believe you because it's so far fetched. It's so far away from the, from what this narcissist presents to people. So it does not sound real. So of course you guys are struggling with the fact that people just don't believe me. That's why communities like this have been created, because we understand we've been there as well. We weren't heard and we started talking about it. And all of a sudden we came together as a tribe and it's like, that is my story. That is exactly my story. Why does it seem like all of them come from the same playbook? They come from the same mold. They like what they had the same parents or something because it's the same disorder. And watch out for the people that are quick to say, I would never. And if it was me, well, it ain't you, you know, and I would have never because I wasn't raised like that. That's because they've never met a narcissist that got into their heart that if they keep playing long enough, they're going to meet the right one. It may not be in a romantic relationship, but they'll meet the right one. So when these people tell you, I would never. And I, I said this in another video, I would never, and it couldn't have been me, and if I were you, I would have. It ain't you. You didn't go through it. You don't know what you're talking about, and it's the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Isn't that what John B. told us? Don't say what you won't do. You know you'll be the first one to go on through. Yes, you will. Yes, they will.